Let's charge him. Let's work him. It's like vague feedback, but it's understandable, so. Oh, deep reflections. It is the same day, it is now nighttime. Well, it's like 7.30 p.m. I'm relieved that the battery charges. I was uncertain if it was going to work or not because of past experiences I've had with my smaller battery when it didn't work. So that anxiety is settled, though not completely gone. When it is fully charged, my anxiety will be completely settled. I'm gonna go into town tomorrow and download the things I need to from the internet to be safe on my trip. I'm gonna resupply. I'm gonna do some work stuff with the Wi-Fi. Um, I'm gonna send some voice messages that I tried to send out, but did not have enough internet slash um, cell service out here. So yeah, really deep conversations. And then it's like, the little spinning wheel just keeps spinning. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, I guess let's go wait a couple of days. <laughs> so I just gotta send that out. Um, I did exactly what I said I was going to do. Um, I went into the creek and refreshed my spirit with all that cold water and my body. Um, I sang, I cried, oh, I masturbated. I did not say I would do that, but wow, I really moved some energy through my body, masturbating. It was amazing. Yeah. What's clear to me in this moment, reflecting on the experience I had earlier, I'm noticing like, I had just newly received a form of wealth that um, is a big deal for me. It's a lot of money to me to buy a battery. Um, so it's just interesting for me to reflect and notice that like my initial reaction to experiencing something new was to like panic and go into fear even when I had so much abundance in my hands, like, but it didn't meet my expectations. And so it felt like scarcity. So what's clear to me is the stress is always gonna be there. It's just gonna look different. Even when there's abundance, stress will be present, but how will it show up? And when I keep focusing on the things that I don't have, then it just reinforces the scarcity mindset and that stress energy in my being. And so if the stress is always going to be there all the time, no matter how financially resourced I am or not, how can I just be present right now? Because I'm noticing where I'm like living in the future a little bit with this narrative I'm telling myself of like, Oh, when I get this battery, I'll be less stressed. Or when I get whatever to Tahoe, I'll be less stressed. But today it's becoming clear to me. I'm like, can I enjoy where I'm at right now just as much as like what I anticipate how much I'll enjoy in the future? Because most likely I'll get there and I'm going to be stressed out again. <laughs> like, am I painting a fantasy of just how easeful things will get just when I'm able to do this or get this resource or whatever? Having financial stability is definitely, like, relieves stress, but I'm releasing what's outside of my control right now so that I can just focus on the abundance. Like, I am well-fed today. I am well-rested today. I'm in deep relationship with Earth. I feel so healthy. I'm healthy. I'm alive. I have food and water, I'm stable. Yeah, that's what's present right now. So that's the energy I'm gonna ground into right now. And as I keep saying, the answers will reveal themselves with time. So 
why am I trying to get ahead of myself? Like, I will literally just be right here, right now, and focus on <laughs> what is in my control. And what's happening right now is that this battery is charging, so... And it is not requiring the sun, like the Jackery does, the little battery. So... <sighs> yeah. It's interesting to notice my expectations and to see my reactions when reality does not meet my expectations. Uh, but I'm like, is it ever possible to have realistic expectations if really we just project expectations based off of the past or based off of like stories or like fantasies, you know? Like, it's just an imagining of the future. How could you actually know the future ever? <laughs> Ever. Like, it's out of your control. So, like, are realistic expectations even real? I feel like the most realistic expectation for me to have is to, like, expect to be surprised <laughs> and expect nothing to be the same. I'm having a grieving moment where, like, just the first month and a half of this trip, I'm like, wow, I feel like a completely different person since when I started. And I know that like, this moment is so impermanent. Like I will continue to evolve as the path continues to evolve. And just because I'm getting used to like this little neck of the woods right here, doesn't mean that like everything is gonna be like this. So that's the way I'm preparing myself with realistic expectations for the future so I can have less emotional panic as my initial reaction to change. What if I'm just expecting change, you know? Then when I'm expecting it, right when it comes, I'll notice it and then I'll go right into my self-care practices, just like I did today. <sighs> Damn, I am very emotionally resilient, I will say. And it has not always been this way. It has been a practice and a skill that I have been cultivating that I did not learn from childhood. I had to learn this as an adult. And I'm feeling really proud of myself. I'm really learning here. And I'm proud of myself for the way I'm reflecting and integrating. Uh, what I've learned in my coaching world is it's really easy to get stuck in the awareness part because it can feel um, exciting, it can feel like a high to gain more awareness about yourself, about your patterns, about your subconscious. Just to see more of yourself and understand more of like the why in your life or the, yeah, to see the bigger picture of your life. It's exciting. And it's really easy to get stuck in just the awareness. Like I've been through this and I'm learning with time and experience. <clears throat> and I often witness people go through this where, <laughs> where you gain a new awareness. And so you just automatically think that you've like, superseded the pattern or like you've like surpassed the pattern or just seeing it is automatically changing it but really it's just like shining the light on the path you know like seeing clearly helps open up insight clarity into like what are the opportunities to change the pattern it's not the noticing of the pattern that's like the the foundation that you need in order to create the change so Yeah. With time and with practice, what I'm noticing in my practice of just shadow work and changing my patterns and living more in alignment with my values, with love and liberation, outside of dominator imperialist paradigms. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm Morcito last night. Um, well, two nights ago ripped the screen open, like, keep telling myself, I'm like, she's a dog. She, I can't hold her to the same expectations I hold a human to. I would get so angry 
at a human. I got angry at her, but then I immediately was like, can I accept her for who she is? Like, it's stressful, yes. Now there are mosquitoes coming inside. So anyways, sorry, I'm distracted because there are mosquitoes coming inside. But only slowly, because it's only one part that's ripped. So, I mean, it's a big part, but it's at least it's only at the bottom. <laughs> Damn, but now I gotta be a little on guard, so. <laughs> I tried taping it up, but it did not work. It all fell off in the morning. Yeah, so I'll try something else later. So what I'm noticing in my shadow work practice is the more opportunities I have to notice and then, um, well, basically, the more I practice noticing, the um, shorter the distance between seeing and doing happens. There's always a lag. There's always like a noticing first because the patterns are so subconscious that like, once you're able to zoom out and have a conscious awareness of it, like I'm saying, it doesn't mean you already just surpassed the pattern. It's still happening because your animal body is an autonomous being. So when you're noticing your subconscious, really you're just noticing your autonomous animal body and what they're doing to help you survive. <laughs> all the things that you don't do, like, you know, digesting and all that stuff. Like, your body does that for you. So... With more practice, I'm able to shorten the distance between um, how quickly I'm able to notice. There are moments now where I'm noticing the pattern happening in real time, and that gives me a huge opportunity to take any action that is different than what would normally happen. It's a pattern, so it's cyclical. So, like right now, for example, I'm noticing that I'm chasing scarcity by chasing by focusing on the things that are coming up, the things that are out of my control, the things that I am in lack of. And I know part of that is here to protect me. Gratitude, I will take that part. But I'm not gonna cling too strongly. I'm just gonna take what I need, you know? Um, that is the way I'm gonna change the pattern. Yeah, I can't keep living mentally in the future because it sends anxiety to my body and then I can't um, be with the reality that I'm safe right now. Like I'm safe, but my body can't relax. And so it's not good for my overall health. I need to have my health like balanced for the moments where I am not safe, you know, so I can be prepared and not already exhausted. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with more and more practice, the more I notice myself, um, the quicker I'm able to take action and really change my patterns because it doesn't matter what I do differently. There's no right or wrong way to show up. But if it is different, then like, of course, I'm going to get a different outcome. Like, that's just how it works. <laughs> you can't expect the same outcome when you're showing up differently. Like, of course, you're going to have a different reality. This is the witchcraft. It's like, what energy do you want to embody to affect the outcome, you know? And, like, maybe I want my outcome for this trip to be ease. Like, really, I'm just looking for more ease. Okay. So how can I embody that right now to invite more in? <laughs> uh, playing with energy, alchemizing energy, processing the fear so that I can come back to center and make a conscious choice. What energy do I want to embody? And what ripple effects will that create in my entire experience? in my day, in my week. So I'm just practicing, noticing the panic and slowing down and returning to present. Not escaping the feelings, processing the feelings. And I made some beautiful music today. <laughs> There's moments like today where I'm like, dang, I wish I recorded this, like all the time actually, but I record so much, some things I just need for myself, you know? <laughs> yeah, but it's beautiful magic. The way music just pours out of me when I'm feeling emotional and it's like wisdom that I'm singing and it just comes from something bigger than me. It just flows out of my vessel and it happens to rhyme and it's like wise and it's like guiding me and it's cathartic. I'm just like, who am I? <laughs> I love getting in those flow states. So, 
yeah, this is what I signed up for. I wanted to slow down. So when I was living in Oakland, I was always focused on money because I was just always barely paying the rent. So reminding myself, I'm like, okay, I don't have the stress of rent right now. So that's a big relief. Like there's abundance there. There's definitely other ex like costs. There is something that it's costing me to not pay rent. Like you see me out here, <laughs> but yeah, I'm noticing the way I, my brain has been conditioned to con consistently just think about money, 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 money and the fear about, will I have enough? So yeah, I'm going to do what's in my control and let go of what's out of my control so I can get out of that cycle of fear and anxiety of will I have enough money. Up until my life so far, like I have had enough money and it's not been through ways I've expected at all, not at all. So yeah, I'm choosing to embody the energy of faith in the future. I am trusting that I will be safe and well, that I am loved and supported by the universe. I am guided. I am not alone. And that I'm gonna be okay. I am gonna be uncomfortable. Yeah, that's like to be expected, but I'm gonna be okay. It's gonna get scary at times, but I'm not gonna be the same person at the end of it, so. <laughs> this is what I'm signing up for. Letting go of scarcity and really living in the moment. <laughs> I'm in the fucking woods right now. This is so amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Aww. Uh, may these reflections be a gift. May they open up something inside of you. Aww, much love, much love, much gratitude. <laughs>